hello good morning or good evening to everyone welcome to mainframe prax tutorials so today's topic is about the conditional instruction the first conditional instruction is about if then and else instructions so as you all know like uh, in any of the programming languages the most the very important conditional statement which we use is if uh, if then or else instructions so this would be the flowchart or la for this if and statement so if if there it will check for the expression if the if the expression is true then it will go to the then and it will execute those instruction and it will end the if statements if it is false okay then it will goes to the else part and it will say execute the set of instructions and it will go uh, it will come out of the if loop so that's how uh, if statements works for any kind of programming language the same would be for rex so you uh, the important points we need to remember while uh, working with the rex is you can also arrange the clauses in one of the following ways to enhance or the readability that is if expression then you can so i mean this is the syntax of uh, if statement so if you would be having some expressions then you would be executing some statements else uh, some other statements or you can you do the same thing if you are you can either code the then of continuation just beside to the expression or in the next line of the statements of the expression so then instruction does so this is the one important point and when you put the entire instructions on line one line you must separate the then class from the else class with a semicolon so that is if expression then instruction so if you're writing only on the same line so you have to separate it by semicolon instruction so and another thing is generally at least one instruction should follow the then and else class when either class has no instruction it is good programming practice to increase no op that is no operation next to the class so assuming that the uh, you are using if conditions if expressions so if it is satisfying here and uh, if you don't have any else instructions so it is bet better practicing to use nop okay so now we are going to connect to the mainframe and show you how if and else works so let me connect to the mainframe yes you are connected to the mainframe and you have created the pds member inside pds member you have your x code rex program name so this is a simple uh, if find else program so uh, just I mean it's for basic understanding so it's a very very simple and easy program so uh, you can uh, you can write your own logic working with the if uh, I mean since uh, to uh, I write this simple program so that everyone can understand it easily so that's the reason I, I wrote this simple program so here what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to store it I have declared two variables that is days and months and uh, in days I'm passing the value as 28 and in the month I'm passing it as 0 2 so if days equal to 28 then I'm stating it as it's February else I'm saying it as not a February month so it's a simple pro uh, simple if and else logic so you can write any you can write your own algorithms you can write your own logics uh, using if and else okay let me execute this and show you how it works okay start okay it says no more screens so anyhow I'm here so get it right and six okay just six enter so it says it's February so I'll just try to update this okay save it and try to run it again let's see what it will tell now sorry it's not a February month it's right okay with this I want to end this video thank you so much for watching have a great and pleasureful day